from LA to LA on the run like I don't got in the state. Yeah. I'm from LA to the Wait, what's up? How you doing today? I'm doing good, Alan. How are you? I'm doing great. It's good to see you. I haven't seen you since like last year during the Telfar right. set. Yes, right. How was your birthday recently just passed? Happy belated. It was great. I was yeah. working on my birthday and, you know, a lot of people are coming up to me saying that if you're working on your birthday, that means it's a good thing, you know, you're in a good place. Yeah. So, um, it was nice to be productive. Yes. And focus on my career on the day. Yes. And also be surrounded by my lovely Telfar family. Yes, exactly. Um, Shout out to the Telfar fam. My heart. <laughs> yes, for sure. And now, could you break down your look for us? It's kind of self-explanatory. He's tough off from almost like head to toe. Yes, yes, yes. Like yeah. I'm wearing full head to toe. Yes. Um, we have a few new pieces dropping. Yes. So, um, be on the lookout. Okay, super but, dope. Super excited. Yeah, I'm sporting some of that today. And don't they have a um a Uggs Elks Telfar collab that's coming out? I think in like pink or something. Yeah, they're releasing we're dropping new colors in our Uggs. Okay, so you know I've been keeping my eye out now. <laughs> yes, you got to. You yes, got yes, to, you got to. for sure. And now, can I get a little close up on the kicks? Because I'm yes. loving these sneakers. Yes. These Gucci yes. kicks. These are super dope. Yes. I love Thank those. You. Yes. <laughs> and now, what's your favorite season to get dressed, William? Um, the cold season. Cold season. You can layer up. You have yeah. more options. Yeah. Um, which is always dope that's good that's good and now how did you go according to like styling the fit for your birthday was it something you just randomly threw in a closet you was like okay i got that drip on deck well, ready like i said or? i was working on my birthday uh -huh. so i kind of just threw something together but yeah. um i love incorporating telfar into my wardrobe yes so i feel like it's always a little bit of like elevated yeah. basics which is nice not elevated basics but yeah. just like you have a you have a black baggy jean, but it's a bubble silhouette. It's yeah. not like you know your traditional regular baggy jean, um, which is nice because then I can style it with things that I don't have to think about as much, but still look yeah. very intentional. Right, right, right. Um, stylish. <laughs> Which is dope. We love that, William. Thanks a lot for stopping again Thank and checking so in with us. Man. Yes, appreciate it. Have a good one. <laughs> Ari, what's good, bro? How you doing today? Oh, oh, what up, bro? Oh, chilling, chilling, bro. Okay, so this fit is fire. You got to tell you, us bro. about it. It's a. Uh, it was like a blanket, bro, that I yeah. found at a thrift. Like okay. a comforted blanket. Which is dope. And love the colorway. At first, I put it on my bed. I was like, oh, this shit fire. Yeah. And then I was like, oh. Let me turn it into like a, a whole fit. Right. So I got the shorts. Oh, I got the jersey. Oh, it's all connected. Yeah, it's all connected as one. What? Come on, let me put my dog down. Hold on. See? Oh, look at this shit. Wow. This show was like a cape jacket. Yeah, it's like a flying squirrel look. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's super dope. Like that. Then the dog got the matching fit too. Yeah. Man, yeah this is crazy. You know how to put it sign on my dog. Oh, Amy man. This is fly. This yeah. is fly. Like that. And what about the kicks too? You got to get into the kicks, man. Oh, well, the kicks is uh, Balenciaga, the new 10X joints. They yeah. just released Ooh. Uh, on the runway. Yeah. They really big, honestly. I feel like if I, if I fall, I'm yeah. not really going to fall because like, they're so big, it got like mad size to it. Yeah, man. mad size to it, right? Yeah. The, and then the grills, the grills, man. And then the grills is like, yeah. just these grills I got from Harlem. Shout out 125th Street. Yeah. And um, yeah, I was just trying to look cozy today. Yeah. It's cold outside, cool. but I feel like the sun is still out. Yeah. And I'm moving for the Knicks too, even though they're not doing so good. Right? right, okay. And where do you get your style inspiration from? Um, I get my style inspiration from Lake. Coast. Okay. Um, shout out to the East Coast. Yeah. Shout out Dapper. Yeah. Shout out Dapper. For sure. Shout out and, that. Um, just like 90s culture. Yeah. And 2000, early 2000s, white vacation. Yeah. That's fly. That's fly. And what's one piece of merchandise that you haven't designed that you would like to design? Um, I want to do some L jeans. I haven't done a pair of jeans. I have like some L vibes. Yeah. So I'm working on that. Look out for that. Um, that's my big one. I want to work on I've done hats. I've done shirts. Yeah. I've done fucking shoes. But yeah. I haven't really done any. Yeah, wow, which is fly. To How has your style changed over the course of the years? Um, my style has changed over the course of the years. I would say to be a little bit more um, like sustainable. Yeah. I feel like I'm starting to work with more stuff like that I find on the streets. Yeah. I'm trying to somehow figure a way yeah. to like um, better the world. And yeah. Stop throwing clothes in the trash and yeah. like find a better way to use clothes. Yeah. And save the world. I honestly want to save the world through fashion. Yeah. I know it sounds crazy, but that's what I'm doing. Which is dope, which is dope. I appreciate your time, but I don't even think we done seeing the rest of the fit yet at yeah, the back. I got like a train in the back. Okay, we got to see the train. Ooh! <laughs> Get us 
fellas! Yo, yo, what's good, GS Squad? Welcome back to the Get with Jay. Sit back, grab a snack, enjoy the rest of the video. New video Friday. Peace. What are you wearing today? You look phenomenal. Congrats on all your success. Thank you. Yes. Burberry. Yes. Burberry. Ooh. Burberry. Yes. Super fly. <laughs> and what's one obstacle you faced in your career and how did you overcome it? I mean, the biggest obstacle is race. <laughs> you can't overcome it. Yeah. But I um, I never try to separate myself from my blackness. Wow. Yeah. Thanks a lot for your time. Have a good one. Next up, we're in the Lawrence Fishburne. I loved his fedora hat and his brown wool coat. He doesn't stop for autographs, signatures, and things like that. Maybe when he's at an event, he will. Best of luck to y'all. Next up, this is the father from BMF. He was really cool. If you guys know his name, let me know down in the comment section. His casual sneakers, his pants, and his pea coat was cool along with that turtleneck. That cream turtleneck was fire. Chance the Rapper is a cool person to run into. He didn't stop because I wasn't prepared and he was in a rush, but I love his style. It's always straightforward, clean, and he rocks his own merch, which is a plus as well as a brand. Success. Thank Please you, tell us about this Thank fit today. This is a short fit. Brother, I like this fit. Can you Thank tell you, us a man. little bit about it? A black suit. Okay. And then also, what's some advice the older you would give to your younger self? You know what? Listen to your older self. Wow. Hope that, yeah. <laughs> Next up, we have Rita Ora rocking this all black fit. I love the top. The cutout is fly, sexy, along with this black and gold that she did. The beautiful Jennifer Lopez. Oh my God, this lady does not age a bitch, you guys. She looked phenomenal. Oh, this is the second spot I seen her, and I had to run my ass in the street and run right around the cars. They could be, no, no, no. He's running, he's a track star. And then she's autographing and signing for the fans and things like that. I love that fur coat that she had on, boom. And then Big Big Back just gets right all in my way. So I had to bob and weave and get in front. And then look, everybody just shoving stuff in her face. She was nice and polite. Every time you seen J-Lo, she stopped for the fans. She autographed. She took pictures. This one lady came out the blue to want to get a picture with her. Um, she was showing the lady something. I don't know what the fuck that was, but she stopped for the lady. Um, and congrats to J-Lo, man. You know, she just looks good. She's still standing tall. It talks about her retiring from music. Um, I don't want to go too much into detail with that, but the fashion is always giving what it's supposed to give. You know, J-Lo got that money, man. Um, and yeah, she looked great. Good seeing you, J-Lo. This is Aaliyah Kaur. She's been going viral all over social media for her Y2K style, and she never disappoints with a great fit. Pretty. So that concludes today's episode of What Are People Wearing in New York City. Oh, let me show you. I got a new tripod, y'all. Hold on. So check out my new tripod stand that I brought from Amazon. I think I paid about like $20, $30 for this. Really good, sturdy. I believe it's a Chinese brand that manufactured the tripod. This is how you utilize it. Put the phone right here. And it's a good fine job. You could definitely place it on objects outside, such as a car to record. You could place it in the playground, you know, sit, sit the phone on the tripod stand and record a video. But everything's run better on Duncan. Let me order my order. A cup of coffee, um, light half, and sweet. Half coffee or yes. ice coffee? Hot, hot, hot. Last cup of hot coffee, light and sweet? Yes. Let me see. Oh, yeah, you got the donut I'm looking for. Let me see. Um, I'm looking for a donut. Okay, I'll do a strawberry um, donut. Strawberry donut? Yes, strawberry frosted. One. Uh, no, no sprinkles. Thank you, sir. All right, so I'm back. My favorite looks from today's video was definitely Ari Serrano or Seriano. Bro, forgive me if I pronounced your name, but he said he had the jersey laying on his bed, right? And he turned it into kind of like a squirrel cape and then he laid it gold. So originally it was created for a girl that was supposed to go walk at the Grammys, but he wound up wearing it on his own. Um, super dope creator, been following him for a while. He also has a video on, um, um, damn. So I'm back y'all. My favorite looks from today's video was definitely Ari Serrano, or Ari Sariano. Sorry if I'm mispronounce your name, bro, but his cape jacket that he turned into a full grown look is super fire, y'all. Um, at the back of it was a gold cape. He said it was a jersey first, and then he added the blanket to it, and the girl was supposed to wear it to the Grammys, but the girl didn't wind up wearing it, so he said he's gonna wear it on his own. He's gonna have an up and coming fashion show that I wanna attend as well. 
and he's just a super dope creator. I'm gonna link his name down below or tag his name in the comment section so y'all can check out his looks. He got a couple viral videos, but he just doing his thing up and coming. Also, um, DL Hughley, I loved his pattern black and white wool coat that he had on. It was super fly. He looked clean. He looked sharp in his all black suit. And he was nothing but like a breath of fresh air pause because a lot of times running into celebs is like you never know what they expect. You don't know if they're gonna be humble down to earth, but he was very much down to earth and cool. And even though it was a short interview, it was still worth it, man. And also moving on to the third look, the father that played them BMF. I cannot remember his name for God's sakes. Um, but he was super dope. I didn't interview him, but I liked his fit though. So I still recorded it just to show you guys what he was rocking. Um, casual sneakers on. He had on, um, what, some jeans. And it was just all around, you know, casual fit to do an interview. My third favorite look, fourth, sorry, moving on, um, was definitely Gabrielle Union. She was fly, coach, head to toe. She's gonna have to coach me on that drip because she had it on. Um, the trench coat was cool. Loved her loafers that she had on along with the coach bag. Nice, clean, plain look. Make sure y'all look both. Do not be vlogging and walking. I don't even know why I just did that just now. Bad example um, of a successful vlogger, but make sure y'all look both ways. And um, if I forgot anybody in this video, forgive me. My memory be kind of shot sometime. Large cup of Joe to keep me motivated and activated for work. But even though this was a short video, you guys, I linked up with Dev. I know a lot of you guys know Dev more. And Gotham's Gallery, I think, or Gotham Gallery City on YouTube. Um, cool content creators. They do the same type of videos with the people we're in New York City. And we was all talking amongst each other and saying that we all should do, you know, we should collab or we should just chill one day. And I think that that would be dope because as a creator, sometimes you don't just want to throw yourself out there, you know, to anybody. But when you, you know, you meet a couple cool people that's cool down to earth and that do the same content that you do, you know, you want to make sure that you just reciprocate the same positive energy and positive vibes to them. So I was like, yo, that's dope. I'm like, like, yo let's follow each other you know take each other numbers down and things like that and we could definitely look up look at these i love the fucking graffiti and artwork on this little box in new york city yo that's one reason why i love new york city i'm not gonna hold you bro like it ain't nothing like some ah new york city fresh air yo i just thought about that um um meme remember he was like good morning my neighbors he was like Fuck you! He said, fuck you too! Um, but yeah, yo, it was definitely a cool experience. And guess what? I don't even give a fuck who's looking at me. I think just talking to the content creators, it was just like, yo, like, we in our own lane, feel me? We gotta record ourselves. We gotta do what we gotta do. We gotta stay ten toes and never fold. Oh, almost four minutes. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Sorry that it's a short video, but I'm definitely going to be creating long form content and things like that because I want my videos to be back on the map. The last time y'all seen me was for New York Fashion Week, and that was like two weeks ago, bro. Let me explain why the last time I posted the video was two weeks ago. Only because time flies. It was like a day or two that passed, right? I said, okay, good. I'll be good for about three to four more days if I don't make a post. You know, only because I'm just feeding the system, feeding the algorithm, and I gave y'all almost a 40-minute video. Before I knew it, I lost fucking track of time, and the shit said two weeks. I said, oh, hell no. I got to get my fat ass back on the mat. You know, very much big back energy being lazy, and I don't like that. You know, we got to be consistent over here, and we just got to continue to aim and shoot for the stars or whatever the case is. You know what I'm saying? But hope y'all guys enjoyed it. See y'all next time. Peace. Get a rig out this bitch.